This is my favorite stretch for improving overhead shoulder and thoracic mobility. Simon Adda, or at Monster Strength, was nice enough to send along this cool stretching video for me to break down. And it generates quite a bit of stretch on the anterior body, the front of the body. Through the use of the benches, we are essentially draping the body over top of the middle bench and creating a fixed point or a point to pull from with the hands on the bench up top, generating an overall extension of the body, which is shorter or concave on the back, longer or convex on the front. There is an extensive list of muscles involved in this stretch. Starting at the top and working our way to the bottom, the forearm flexors are lengthened because of the hand extended to hold onto the bench. The triceps are being lengthened because of a bent elbow, but more so because the scapula and ulna are being pulled apart. Both pec major and minor because the arms are up and away from the ribcage. Latismus dorsi because the arms are up as well as externally rotated. And as we drive the thoracic cage and pelvis away from each other, essentially all of the abdominal muscles are lengthened. Simon then puts a variation on this, where the feet are lifted off the ground. This change unifies the legs and pelvis all the way up to the lumbar through the contraction of the hip flexor. Whereas previously the floor was supporting the legs and some of the pelvis, now all this anterior musculature must bear this weight. An increase in weight is at times very effective at better generating stretch. Determining whether this stretch is right for you is a great conversation to have with a physiotherapist. Because if you're going to do it, do it safely.